Hi folks, um, this is the follow-up video to uh, show you how to mark and give feedback on Microsoft Teams assignments and quizzes. Uh, and uh, let's get right to it. Um, I put it up a couple days ago and I put some, some staff members uh, in the class of students and uh, I made a couple of assignments. And so I'll get right to it here, share my screen. Uh, I'm back at the district website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to staff and I'm going to go to Office 365 apps. I've got the team apps already installed. I could just click this and go right to it, but I realize that some of you don't. And so this is a more roundabout way to get there, but it's the same thing. So I'll click teams. And when I go there, I'll see a list of all of my teams. And what we'll also see is that demo class that I created. Um, we'll wait for it to come down. There we are. Um, and so when I go down, I will choose my demo class here. And next. Okay. Now, I, that's actually not a standard way that it would go in. Probably when you when when you go in, you will see a list of all your teams. Then you'll click the class you want to correct, and then you'll click assignments, which you see over here. Because I just left it, sort of took me back to where I already was. But don't let that intimidate you. Uh, you're you're going. I'll show you. When you go in, you're going to see that. Um, and all of your teams. And so I will click demo class. There we go. And it will bring me into my demo class. And now I'm going to over here, click assignments. And it's gonna say, what class again? And I'm gonna say demo class and next. And now we're right back to where we were. And in this demo class, you'll notice that I've got uh, three assignments here, a biodiversity assignment, a digestion assignment, um, and digestion two. Um, now, the digestion two one that I created was a quiz. And just for review, the quiz is where I had to go in and make a form um, and then assign the form. And so what happens, the nice thing about that is that a student goes in and there's a little text box and they can write their answer right in the text box. And when they do that, um, they literally can just put it in uh, right over the phone if they have it, and then hit submit. Once a student opens a quiz, they can't reopen. Uh, and so they go in, it's sort of one shot, it's very formative, it's immediate. Uh, you can put a link in there, you know, please watch this video and then answer these questions. But when a kid opens it up, they have to submit an answer. If they submit or close and come back to it later, it's done. Um, and so that's with a quiz. Now an assignment, if you remember from yesterday, um, that's a little longer term. That's where I would expect something like a, a, an essay or a lab report or something that might take them some time to go do. They can pop out of Teams, go look around, get the answer, create a Word document or a PowerPoint, and then come back and attach it to the assignment and then hit uh, submit uh, or, or turn it in. And when that happens, then I'll see, and I'll, I'll show you that. So I'll show you a quiz first. Uh, this digestion two, I believe, is my quiz. I should have labeled it quiz, make it simpler. And yes, I see that Allison uh, and Riva have both turned theirs in. If you remember, it was up to five. Um, if I want to here, I can go in where it says turn in and look. And you'll see there's your answer right there. So my question was, what's the purpose of the villa? She's actually uh, uh, type something in, and so I say that's perfect. So I might give that a five out of five. If I want here, I can now give her feedback and just I've got a thousand words. Well done. If I want to do something like that, um, and then when I'm done that, um, I can go next, and then I will pop in, and there's Rivas, and I can. That's also well done. I go in here and nice job. What what have you? Um, and then I will hit close. Now, um, at, at, at this point in time, um, if uh, you'll notice, uh, this is one of those things that somewhat annoying. It doesn't pop up like I've like I've I have um, marked it. Uh, but if I pop back out, 
and I go back in, ta-da, I've marked it. Um, and so I don't know why it does that exactly, but it does. Now, just because I've marked it does not mean that Allison and Reva can see that they got five out of five because Ian here hasn't done his. And I might not want to send this back to Allison and Reva until Ian has completed his. Because uh, then they say, hey, here's what, you know, I put for a five out of five answer. It, it, uh, and, and, uh, this is what I did. Uh, and so I can wait and maybe until the assignment's up. And then what I would do is say, okay, I want to return these to these kids. So I will click Reva and I will click Allison. And you'll notice now it says return to here. And when I click that, Allison and Reva are both going to get uh, a notification that their assignment has been marked. They'll see that mark and they'll see those, uh, that feedback that I gave. So I'll click return and it's returning those assignments to those students. And now it shows turned in and you can see that they're, they're marked. So that's with a quiz. Let's go back and let's look at an assignment. Um, and in this case here, I have a biodiversity assignment. So I'm gonna click that up. And I notice that Reva Coleman has turned hers in and Alison Bartlett has viewed it. Now, what that means is, is that she's not done. She's not ready to have actually turned it in. So she's looked at it. She may be off working on it. She may have a Word document already started, um, but she's not ready for me to see it and, and, and assess it. So if I actually click that, I can actually see that, yeah, uh, she is. She, th these are two Word documents here that she's working on. Um, and, and, and I can look back at her, at her history of, of what she's done or how often she's done it. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but if I go here, uh, Reva has actually turned hers in. And in this case, I'll click that up. And of course, uh, she has, she just submitted a Word document that says the answer goes here. It goes here. Um, and so I can now come down here and, you know, if it's nine out of nine, and, and I'll give her a nine out of nine uh, and enter feedback. Uh, nicely done, well researched, whatever it, I feel. Uh, you might want to consider this in the future. Thank you. Uh, and so then I will uh, close this. And again, you'll notice that um, it's been turned in. It shows here that it's been marked. Revis is already uh, clicked and highlighted. And if I want to now, I can return that to her. Um, and I will. And so now I've returned that one assignment to her. And now you'll see I'm just left with Allison's and Ian's um, uh, to, to review. And I can see that you might want to give Ian a nudge, you know, hey, uh, did, you, did you see that assignment up there? Because uh, there's, there's, he's done the thing Allison obviously has started. Um, okay, so that gives you a basic idea um, and, and uh, of, of the difference between quizzes, which a kid, when they open it up, has to respond right there, um, uh, right into a text box. They can't submit pictures. They can't submit, sub, submit a PowerPoint. Assignments are typically longer term things, assignments. Um, and they can go make PowerPoints or Excel spreadsheets, whatever it is they choose to do, and then upload. And when they're happy with their work, they'll click turn in. I'll get a notification when I go look. I can see who's looked at it, I can see who's done it, and I can see who hasn't begun. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.